What's going on guys? It's Alex from Tech Aris, and we are going to do a quick review of the Honor 7X smartphone. Welcome back guys. We are looking at the Honor 7X smartphone from Honor, which is owned by Huawei and uh, this is kind of like their budget line, a mid-range um, offerings that they they give up here. And what you see uh, here in front of you is what comes in the box: the uh, USB cable, the wall wart, uh, the phone itself, obviously, uh, quick start guide, SIM removal tool, and uh, it does come with a, a TPU case. Uh, Huawei and Honor tend to give those. Uh, they're kind of cheap, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so that's what's in the box. No big deal. No big whoop. Get that stuff out of my way, and we'll jump in on the phone, which is right here. And uh, we got the red variant, and it actually is a very nice uh, looking device uh, as, in terms of color. I love the black on red. Um, I didn't think I would, but I really do enjoy, uh, I did enjoy using this, I did enjoy the color. Uh, it's unlike uh, the iPhone, the red version of the iPhone, which has the white front, and I'm not too wild about that. Um, Huawei did go, I mean, excuse me, Honor did go with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio on this thing, uh, which is pretty much what most flagship phones are going with now. So you do get that, which is kind of cool. Um, let's just take a quick look around the phone here. Uh, here on the left-hand side, hopefully you can see that in focus. That is the um, SIM card slot, micro SD slot. Uh, on the bottom uh, is your headphone jack and your speaker. And in the middle there is your micro USB port. Yes, micro USB, I said. Um, that was a little disappointing. It would have been nice to see USB C here. Um, but, you know, it is a budget phone, $199.99. Uh, so um, that is not an option, uh, which means that you don't get any kind of quick charging with this phone. So you'll be stuck with the uh, micro USB charging, which is uh, coming from a phone with USB-C and quick charge. It, it it's uh, excruciatingly slow. But again, it's a budget phone, so um, you're gonna you're gonna find that you're gonna have to give up some amenities. Uh, over on this side, you have the volume rocker and power button. I do wish the power button was textured, uh, kind of like the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, um, which is really nice. I actually have right here that uh, it has um, a textured power button. So when you're reaching over and you're not uh, looking, you know which button you're actually touching. And you, I suppose you can tell too with the, uh, um, the size of the actual button, which is a which, but it's all, always nice to have that little texture there. Uh, microphone up at the top there, nothing, well, just a nice red back, but, uh, fingerprint sensor, which is really fast. Um, Huawei tends to make some pretty, really, pretty nice fingerprint sensors, and this one's no exception. It, it's really a great fingerprint sensor, especially for a budget phone. Uh, dual camera setup, um which I believe is a 16 megapixel and 2 megapixel in the back here. Um, no optical image stabilization here, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, that OIS really does help with pictures and and not having that in here is kind of... Uh, it, and it's a ding against the phone, but again, budget phone, there's not much, you know, th there's going to be some sacrifices made and and for under 200 bucks uh, this is what you're getting LED flash and then the antenna lines uh, a la iPhone 6 7 ish look um, and that's that's what the phone looks like it's uh it's a really nicely designed phone for a budget phone uh, 18 by 9 aspect ratio is really nice um, it, the, the build materials are really quality too this is all aluminum uh, the glass feels nice uh, it's it's really well built. There's there's I really don't have any complaints, too many complaints about the the build quality other than the volume and power button needing texture. 
things also the micro USB port but other than that for $199.99 I mean this is a solid phone I mean you're not going to um, uh, somebody looks at you with this phone they're gonna assume you have an iPhone or something similar so it, it's a really well built phone for $199 and um, you know I think uh, it, 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 it holds value in that in that respect uh, the display is uh, a little better than in full HD. Uh, it's uh, 20, uh, 1080 by 2160. Uh, because of the 1080, I mean, excuse me, because of the 18 by 9 aspect ratio, there's a little more more pixels. Um, so, uh, but it's a really, really nice display. I, I, I don't have a lot of complaints about the display. It, uh, it's, um, it's colorful. It's not oversaturated like a lot of uh, other displays. Um, but it's also it's really kind of toned down. It's not um, uh, overly colorful. It's kind of just neutral to me. Uh, you can change the, the color temperature and the settings and make it a little warmer, a little colder, depending on how you like it. Um, but it's it's a it's a nice display. I mean, for 100, 199 bucks, a budget phone, it's really well done display. There's absolutely nothing wrong with. It. Um, this is running Android 7.0. Uh, don't suspect that it's going to be upgraded to Android uh, 8.0 anytime soon, if ever. Uh, but 7.0 is still a good OS, um, and it is running EMUI over top of Android 7.0, and that's probably not going to be everybody's cup of tea. But there's custom launchers you can download and fix that situation with. Um, I don't mind EMUI. I think people coming from the iPhone will be okay with this as well. Um, the the whole user experience is iPhone esque. You can choose to uh, in the settings. You can choose to have an app drawer, or you can choose not to have an app drawer, kind of like the iPhone, where uh, the iPhone tends to uh, just put everything on on your on your home screen here. So. Um, there is no app drawer in the iPhone, so you can you can choose that method here as well uh, with Honor 7X. Um, so uh, no complaints with Android 7.0. Be nice to see Android 8.0, 8 but it's not more than likely not going to get it. Um, EMUI runs nice, smooth. Uh, internally, the set and settings and, and all the the, the native uh, apps and, and such run great. Uh, I did find some lag in certain apps, especially Facebook. Uh, I saw a lot of lag and jumpiness in the Facebook app, uh, a lot of pausing and uh, unable to scroll. Um, oh, i got to log back in, but we'll do that later. Um, so that's something to be aware of. It's not perfect. Uh, there, are, there, are, there are some software hiccups in some of this so the performance isn't uh, completely you know flagship I mean you're getting a budget phone here it's uh, a Kirin 659 octa-core uh, CPU and a Mali T830 MP2 uh, GPU on this uh, you're not running um, you know Qualcomm processors on here um, so I mean it, it's expected performance wise I think it falls where it should for budget phone um, and and that's pretty much what you can expect the cameras on this thing they're decent not anything to write home about um, you know uh, th that's all I can really say about the camera I mean it's not pixel 2 quality it's not iPhone 10 quality it's not mate 10 pro quality uh, or some galaxy s9 quality I mean you're talking budget phone again so you know, pictures are sometimes a little washed out. Um, you know, it takes a couple shots to get a really good shot because you, you know, without the OIS in there or EIS for that matter, um, sometimes you get a little shake and you get a little blurriness, and so it. They're for for the price range. It's a good camera. Uh, could it be better? Sure, it'd be great if it could be better, but then you pay a little more. Um, I honestly don't think that most regular users are going to mind, especially at this price point. 
some of the um, shortcomings of the phone. Um, it really does well for what you're paying for. Uh, the speaker is really tinny. Uh, again, you're you're paying less than 200 bucks for this phone. It's a weak speaker. It's great. It's fine for YouTube videos. It's fine for you know just watching um, occasional spoken word videos. I mean, if you want good sound, you can. I mean, it has a headphone jack, which is a plus for some. You can plug in your headphones and get better sound that way. So. Um, speakers tinny, not anything to write home about, not anything spectacular. Uh, you know, call quality reception is good. Um, phone calls were spot on, uh, didn't have any problem speaking to anybody, and they didn't have a problem hearing me. Um, so it was it, that's all spot on there as well. Um, battery life is actually not bad. Uh, you know, battery life is going to vary on how you use your phone. Uh, you know. There's just, you can, people can run battery life tests all day and night, but it's going to be different for everybody. In my case, I generally get up at 5 in the morning, and I generally have my phone on between, on me and being used between 5 o'clock in the morning and 9 p.m. at night. And the phone, this particular phone, got me through the entire day. And it generally had between 25 and 10% depending on what I was doing throughout the day. Uh, you know, watch YouTube videos, play a few games here and there, a lot of email, a lot of uh, web browsing, a lot of social media, um, a lot of picture taking, uh, video taking, you know, um, hangouts, uh, uh, streaming music, streaming podcasts. Uh, those are the type of things that I do. So, um, as far as uh, battery life for me personally, it got me through my day. It may not get you through your day. It depends on how you use your phone. Um, so, it'll, you know, just have, take that into account is what I'm saying. <clears throat> uh, for 199 bucks, I gotta say that this is a, a it's a good buy. Uh, if you're looking for flagship specs and flagship performance and flagship build quality, you're, you're not gonna get it here. Uh, you're gonna get a well-priced phone um, with good specs at that price point, and I think there's value here. You um, you're just gonna have to give up a few things if you are looking for those things. There's no wireless charging here. Um, you know the like I said the um, the there's no uh, fast charging. It it's just a basic smartphone with some really nice upgrades like really uh, small bezels and the 18 by 9 aspect ratio the the really actually decent looking uh, display so I mean the phone isn't for everybody but for those looking for a phone on a budget a smartphone on a budget the Honor 7X is really a, a, a good buy for $199.99 I don't think you can go wrong with it um, I mean if you if you have the money to get an iPhone 10 or your uh, Pixel 2 or your Mate 10 Pro you know that's what you're going to be looking at. This is a phone that I think would do well for those who just can't afford any more than this, and uh, I think that they'll be happy with it. So there you go. That's the Honor 7X. The full written review is in the link below. So if you want to read my words on it, uh, go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, I tend to write words better than I do to speak on camera. So uh, hit the link below. Uh, check out the website, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.